When it comes to the re-need, we see a lot of petitions have been filed that they should conduct the re-need once. At the same time, we see a lot of petitions have been also filed by different number of people that they should not conduct this need once again in 2024 itself. Okay. So my dear friends over here, when it comes to the different opposition parties, they have basically filed, we say petitions and all. Okay. They have written the letter to the prime minister also about conducting this re-need once again. And there are a lot of people out there who are supporting that this re-need uh, should not take place. But, but the ultimate, we say, we say decision that is basically going to come on, we say 8th June. And, and we say there are a lot of students out there who are having the confusion at this point of time, sir, if I, if I'm preparing for the need, okay, should I take the drop or not? And in this particular video, I will be telling you what, what is going to happen in the NEET 2025 along with that, along with that, who are the students who should take the drop for the NEET 2025? I'll be to the point and this is the most important video for all the students out there who are looking to take the drop in the NEET 2025. Now listen to me very carefully. If you are deciding to take a drop, there are three things that you guys need to keep in your mind before taking the drop. The first thing is, okay, what is your preparation? Okay. The second thing is the number of attempts you have given. Have you given two attempts before? Have you given three attempts before? Have you given four attempts? This is based on the data. This is based on the logic completely. And then we say family support. There are students, okay, who say, whose family say, says that you guys are supposed to crack the neat in the two attempts only. Maximum you have got two attempts. If not two attempts, you, do, you have to go for something else also. Now the first thing over here is, let's talk about the preparation, my dear friend. If you have completed your syllabus, okay, and if you have done this sufficient revision plus tests, but, but, but under two attempts, like previously you have given two attempts, you have completed the syllabus and you have done the sufficient revisions and tests, but you were not able to crack need. You were not able to crack need. We say in that case, we say you should go for the drop. We say in that case, you should go for the drop. Okay. Now, now, what are the things that you need to basically keep in your mind? We say number of attempts. So you have to basically see how many number of attempts you have given and accordingly you will have to take the drop. We say up to three attempts, I would recommend you guys to basically take a drop. If you have basically taken two attempts, then you should go for the one more attempt. But there are some things which you need. There is a criteria which you need to follow over here. If you have got the fourth and fifth attempt, you are not able to basically still qualify. You are not still able to crack this need. I should recommend you at that point of time, you should leave this and focus on something else. Okay. And when it comes to the family support, as I said, that if you are not having the family support, the family is telling you that the maximum attempts you can have is two or three. So after that, you cannot take the further drops. In that case, you can basically leave. Now, now, my dear friends, the first thing is let's talk about this data over here. If you have given one attempt, okay, whatever the score you were having, guys, this is very important. Be it 200, be it 100, be it 300. So I suggest you guys, you should take a drop because you can give your 100%. You can prepare from the basics and you can take the drop and you can enter the medical college. There are very high chances because I have personally seen there are a lot of students who have done this before and who, who, who were basically getting the very less score previously, but after taking the drop, they got a good score. If you have basically taken, already given the two attempts, but your score was below, below, we say, uh, below, we say 400 or, or even I would write over here 350, 350. In that case, I will not recommend you. Okay. And next, next, my dear friends, if you are, we say, if you, this is your third attempt. Okay. If you have means, if you have already taken the three attempts, and your score is below 500. In that case, also we say, we say, you guys are not supposed to take the drop over. And, and we say, if this is your, if, if you have already given the four attempt, but your score is, we say, below 600. In that case, also, this is, I am telling you, honestly, in that case, also, you cannot take the drop. But, but, but there are things, there are some things. If you think that you have the capability, this at this point of time, like I'm getting 600 score, okay? And if I'm getting 600 score, 100 and 
100 percent I'll, I'll i'll crack the need this year if i give you one more attempt then in that case you can go for it then in that case you can go for it okay so this is basically the condition over next we say next we say what should you expect from need 2025 as i told you in the start as i told you in the starting itself i'll be telling you the details about see we say 25 lakh plus registrations will be in the need right that's for sure okay because already you have been seeing that the number of registrations kept increasing every single year as as in need 2022 uh, in need 2024 how many registrations were there 23 lakh students okay and you can see we are expecting 25 lakh plus registrations and we say if the paper level exam level remains the same we say we can expect 660 plus cutoff okay that's for sure if the paper level remains same but i think the paper is going to come difficult in the next year so cutoff is going to decrease. then next we have questions out of ncrt no no question will be out of ncrt that's for sure that is that's the guarantee okay and we say new question pattern introduced we say highly unlikely they may introduce any of the new question patterns up. now my dear friends if you have basically finally finally made your mind that you are going to take the drop and i would recommend you at this point of time you should basically enter you should basically enter the unacademies plus subscription which is completely free of cost so for next seven days i would recommend you to basically enter this free neat ug plus subscription which is completely free of cost okay so the link is in the description you will be getting the access of all the batches recorded lectures online lectures okay okay you will be getting the papers material study material okay doubt solving everything will be given to you in that particular so the link is in the description below and if it asks for the code you can use my code that is y a w a r so by using my code, you can get, you can, you can avail this particular thing and you can enroll and that too completely, that too completely. Okay. So join it, my dear friends, as soon as possible, as soon as possible. As I have told you, we have recently launched Phoenix 3.0 batch. You can enroll in this Phoenix 3.0 batch also. You can learn over here also. So see you guys very soon in the batch itself. Take care and bye-bye. The link is in the description below. Don't forget to join. Take care and bye-bye.